everyone, my name is Lila from the Edison Public Library and I'm here today to show you some more crafts to do. Uh, so today we are going to be doing some tape painting. So this is a nice easy decoration that you can do. Uh, you can pick up some cheap supplies from Michaels or Hobby Lobby or any of your local craft stores um, and all you'll need is painter's tape and whatever colors you want. So let's get into the supplies. So for this craft you're going to need uh, some canvases. Uh, I, I prefer to use canvases over paper for this craft just because it's a harder surface and it's going to be easier to hang up later. Uh, you're going to need some painter's tape, paint brushes, the paints of your choice, and I'm going to show you an extra special trick of how to get some glitter in there with the help of Mod Podge. So with all these supplies you should be able to make some pretty nice decorations so let's get into it. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to take your painter's tape and just start making the design you want. So painter's tape is pretty easy to work with just because it's easy to tear. Uh, you can paint over it because that's what its specific purpose is for. And it's very easy to make designs. So what you're going to, going to want to do is Make sure you run your finger over your painter's tape just to make sure there's no bubbles and there's no risk of any paint slipping through. And fold over your ends just to make them a little easier to tear off later. So I'm going to keep going with my design and I'll see you guys in a bit. So now that I have my design on there, I'm just gonna start going in with some paint. Uh, so you can do whatever colors you want. Personally, I am keen on some blues and purples today. So we're just gonna start going in with that. So again, you could just paint over your painter's tape just because that's its purpose. It's not supposed. It's supposed to give you a nice, clean line. I'm gonna keep going with this, and I'll see you guys in a bit. So now that my paint has dried a bit, I'm going to show you guys my sneaky trick uh, in order to get some glitter onto this. So I have a little concoction over here of Mod Podge and glitter. So Mod Podge, like I said earlier, is a water-based sealant. It dries clear, so the glitter won't be painted over and you'll still have that nice sparkle and shine. So I'm just going to paint on my concoction and you can put in as much or as little glitter as you want into this. I put in quite a bit just because I, I like a little shine on my projects and I love the way glitter looks and this way there's much less of a mess. As long as you don't spill your glitter you should be good. So I'm going to keep going with this and you guys will see it once it's all dry. So now that your paint has dried, uh, you can start to carefully peel up the painter's tape. Now, I like to do this a little bit slowly just because I'm afraid of accidentally peeling up paint or messing up the canvas, which shouldn't happen, but you never know. You never know. It never hurts to be careful. And as you can see, we have those nice clean lines. There are a few little speckles just because I didn't uh, paint, uh, push it down too hard, but that's okay because that can be covered up. 
with either white paint or whatever you want to use. So again, just be very careful while you're peeling up your paint. mistake there, but we'll be able to still peel that off. There we go. So now that all my painter tape is off, you can see we have a nice little design right here. So if you want, you can paint between the white lines just to add a little more depth, which I think I might be doing. So I'll get back to you guys once I have my finished product. See you in a bit. So after allowing them to dry, here is our finished product. As you can see, uh, the Mod Podge uh, dried clear, so now we have this nice glitter on this one. Uh, and we also have the abstract shapes, so that's fun. Um, on this one, I kind of made it the opposite, where again, we have the abs abstract uh, shapes, uh, but the glitter is just inside the shapes and not everywhere. And we just have a nice purple background. So again, this is just something uh, nice and easy that you can get creative with. Uh, you can use whatever colors you want, you can do it for certain holidays if you'd like, but at the end of the day, it's just something nice to put up on your wall. So I hope you enjoyed this craft and we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye! <laughs>